Hello and welcome to Talking Bulls. This week, proof that even Andy Carroll's pets have started to be affected by his off-field antics. <laughs> Love it. Wait for it, the gold is about to come. And up. Oh. <laughs> <Hey! laughs> oh, it's just genius. And also, I told you last week, and uh, the point still stands, when Mario Balotelli has decided where he wants to park, he has decided where he wants to park. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. There we go. Now, joining us this week, as always, are two of my friends and, of course, the funniest, <laughs> the funniest people that you can find on a Tuesday at around two o'clock. It is, of course, those people that, if you remove the vowels from their name, sound French. Jim's and yes. cool. Is that the same for all names? I don't know. Let's run around of course you guys anyway. Woo! Chris, I become Chris, Christian. 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 When you remove my, <laughs> Born again. my surname. Oh, that's good. I love good. that with that Bar Balotelli thing. Yeah. Also, why did he do it twice? Uh, <laughs> 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 it's like <a> <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, once he got into the shop, did he just top up everyone's uh, nectar points? <laughs> it's kind of like, there you go, have some like, nectar <laughs> points. He's always giving. I quite like your idea of him doing it twice. Like he waited for them to put the last <laughs> bottle of vitamins back on. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and anyway, joining us as well as our celebrity guest this week is a man funnier than both me and Jim, but not Neil. It's Paul Perry! <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Paul? I, this is what happens, I tell you, these guys will vouch for it. When I don't have auto key for intros, mm -hmm. the, the intros become like that, like just really disappointing better. for everyone. Yeah, better. I, better. I, never got, I never got French. You never got French? I never got a French name. Uh, Paul Perry. Yeah, it feels like it does really name. work. Yeah. I think I, does, yeah. I think that's a really good concept that I'm going to maybe tweak Market about it, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm well. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, hey, anytime. Uh, you're a Dundee United fan. I am indeed. Yeah. What does that mean? What's that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is a Dundee United fan? I am a Dundee United fan. Yes. Right. And you're um, from Dundee. Yes, originally. Right. Born okay. and bred. Born and bred. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> from Dundee. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> hey, come on. Yeah. Woo. Um, the Dundee United fan, like, because I think at the moment, uh, being an Aston Villa fan is probably the worst fan, the worst team to support. But I'm mm. assuming you, you'll you'll rival that. Being a Dundee fan, anything. Dundee good? United fan. Don't get Dundee. Don't, <gasps> don't, don't, don't oh, Dundee. so how's Birmingham getting on? It's the same as that. <laughs> <laughs> Birmingham City. Always oh, for you know what I mean. That's yeah. weird. That only Dundee United fans get so, upset. To be fair, no. <laughs> no. it's weird when your ground is twenty yards away from the other team's ground. Oh yeah, they're on the What's same the street. What's the other team called? Dundee, and Dundee. Dundee United. Oh, Dundee and Dundee United. Okay, fair enough. You got. A point. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> right now, um, so what's going on with Dundee? Where, Dundee United. Where are you in the in the league? We, I think we're at eighth, seventh or eighth you just think? now. Yes. Is, is this the, the, the general sort of ethos? <laughs> I've given up. I've I given up. <laughs> We've lost all our players. Oh. I've given up. We've lost our good players. Where have they, they gone? Our main player, Goodwillies, went to Blackburn. Oh, yes, he's he did. The, yeah. God, that's upsetting there. as well that your best player ends up at Blackburn. <laughs> on I mean. a bench. Oh, and, oh. and as well, that your best player, and also the, the one name, if you're going to buy a shirt and have a name printed on the back of it, <laughs> yeah. you want Goodwillies. Good yeah. yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah. That's the only reason Blackburn bought him, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> they Steve, they Steve, Steve Keane's going, why don't you cheer this lot up? Let's put Goodwillie on the bench. Let's put Goodwillie on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, but it's it, it is a bit like I know it's a it's a kind of generalisation, but it's it's still so true because it's enforced every season that if you don't support Rangers or Celtic, there's not really any point, is there, in supporting a team in the in the Scottish Premier League? Probably. You're never going to get any. There's no fun, is there? There's no fun. Scottish Cup runs. Okay. Until you re until you meet Rangers <laughs> or Celtic. No, no, no. We 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 won the final two years ago. Get in. Yes. <laughs> come on. Ah. Second, we were there. What was it? Our fanzine was called the. Um, the final hurdle, we were, it was, I think it was our seventh final. We won it in 94 after six attempts. And then, <laughs> and then about 16 years later, we, uh, we won it again. But that's good. Yes. That's good. And um, I, uh, my, my questioning has, uh, oh, you had a great fact, didn't you, about Dundee United and Yes, and Barcelona. we got to the finals of European Cup in 1987. And we are the only British team to have British. played British? Barcelona four times and beaten them four times. Competitively, really? yes, that's wow. true. That's, that's cool. Yes. Also, that game that you where you got to the final was the first uh, televised football game I ever watched. Was it? Yeah. No way. It was Dundee United yeah. Gothenburg, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Your your, your God, that's a really weird yeah. thing to remember. I don't remember the first televised football we game. Beat I remember really liking Dundee United just because they had an orange kit. Yeah. <laughs> that was the main reason. 
It was because yeah. they had an orange kit and it looked particularly good on my cheek. Game you watched on no. TV? No. That's weird. That's a weird fact to remember, Jim. I I've a lot got OCD. You. I remember a lot of things. You're quite young then. How old are you? I'm 33. Oh, yeah, still Should young. we do that? Is that good television? <laughs> How old are you, Neil? 38. <laughs> 38? 37. 37, 30. So. Hey, you just win. Being oh, you lovely win. stuff. Uh, now, listen. But um, earlier on, you did turn into an old man in the office <laughs> because did. you said that all music sounds like... A, a someone trying to send a fax. Someone trying to send a fax. It does <laughs> nowadays. All that sort of like... <laughs> It's like <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like someone's going to say facts. Don't send that. These facts sound like that. Whoa, don't they? Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> my lungs, right. my lungs, because of smoking. That yeah. is, yeah, yeah, a ZX Spectrum it? loading. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. No. But and, and also, I remember the. I go back to the heady days where you'd wait for a Commodore 64 game to load, and it would give you a Space Invaders game to play while you were waiting. Yeah, because you had like, to turn the tape new, over. That was a new. That was oh, happier good. days. Yeah, yeah. nice. Mm. Good times. Mm. Uh, right, now, uh, comedian, obviously. Mm -hmm. Where can we see you gigging at the moment? Um, I'm on the calf very soon mm -hmm. uh, this week. I've got a wedding on Friday. Don't know why I'm telling you that. And, um, <laughs> we, so that's invited down? Where's <laughs> yeah, that? let's we'll go to the wedding. Down. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Great. Let's go. <laughs> and is that back, uh, back in Scotland or is that... Uh, no, it's in Bournemouth. Right. Oh, OK. Yeah. Nice place, nice neck of the woods. Yeah. Bournemouth, I like it. But it's, it's my first kind of real gig since this year, start of this year. So oh, what, the calf is or the wedding? You know the calf, the calf, right. the comedy you're not, you're calf. Not, you're not asked to go and do stand up at this wedding. You're no, God, yes. no, jeez, that's impossible yeah, to do stand up at a wedding. Yeah. You know, that's, no, they don't. Have you ever done stand up at a wedding? I've done a best man speech twice, which is as close as I'm prepared to. But to I've had someone pay me to write their best man speech. Oh, for really? Me. Yeah, about that. Oh. But not proper stand up. No, no. no that's pointless. horrible. It was at my own wedding. That is horrible. That's no, like it was at my own wedding. My own best man paid me to write his speech. Yeah, that's horrible, though. I hate that. It's like, it's like. It, it's when, when folks ask me, oh, what should I get for my girlfriend? It's like, come on, mate. It's, you, get, you should know. You mm. should know. Don't ask me. Oh, how did that come on to you? <laughs> you being some kind of shopping guru. <laughs> I know, but you know when people say, oh, I don't know what to get her. What should I get her? It's just like, grooming. That's it's nonsense. Just, yeah. Anyway, this is fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, also, promotion-wise, uh -huh. time to plug things. What's your, have you, are you on Twitter? Uh, yes, it's just Paul Perry. Paul Perry? Yeah. P-I-R-I-E. I -E, yes. As in the source. Yes. Is that annoying? Like, with an E at the end of it, yes. Yeah. Is that annoying that yes, it's, it's like very this? annoying. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> great. We'll bring that up a little bit more. <laughs> now, as you know, uh, we have a celebrity keep up challenge, uh -huh. uh, which is here. This is the current leaderboard. You can see uh, many a name scrolling <laughs> up there. Uh, the worst, of course, was uh, last week, which was Stephen Grant. Now, I've stuck you there already. <laughs> um, I'm hoping I won't have to move you, but I have a feeling I will. If you, <laughs> could, uh, if you could put yourself anywhere now, where would you like to be? Um, above Stephen Grant. Yes, excellent. Well, that's not, uh, yeah, there's a, that's a very realistic name. Yes. I like how there's a very real split between comedians and others. Because you've got Seb, Seb Bassong, who's clearly a professional footballer, then two musicians, yeah. Ollie Mills and Kerry Willits, and then everyone else is a comedian. Tom Rosenthal, Carl Donnelly, Tom Deacon, Stephen Grant. Hang um, on, 1920, I'm just looking if between, between the comedians, <laughs> Seb Bassong still Seb. won. He still I think Seb still he won. Does, he does, yeah. uh, right, so here are the rules for uh -huh. the Keep Up Challenge. Uh, it's no shoes. These uh -huh. rules are all invented by Ollie Mers. Um, Look at those lovely DMs. Oh, they're great shoes. Ah, oh, so we can get them off. Are they actual DMs? They are actual DMs, Christmas yeah. present from the wife. Ah, oh, very yeah. nice. Thank you. That's a big shout out to the wife there. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. Oh, thanks for watching. By the way, I wanted to get a present for my wife. What, what should I go for? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Angers me. Nice yeah. sock. Thank you very much indeed. Great you could sock. tell I didn't know I was going to be doing this. No, like, great sock. Um, so all we've got to do is you, you have to keep up to be Come over here, follow me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Over to the area. You do it about here, if you don't mind. Uh -huh. uh, that's the area. The, the ball has to start on the ground. <sighs> hey, come on, come on, it's all right. You get two attempts. You can cheat. You can take the score from either attempt. You said you could cheat there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did. He did. He went. You could cheat. He did. We did here. Um, I can't even get three in my garden. Three in your garden. I don't have a garden. <laughs> no, I can't <laughs> even. It's just very cramped. You're all like, oh, yeah. I don't think you can get three there. It's literally a yard. Um, okay, now <laughs> I've got to beat two. Like uh, in your own time, mate. Hey, and listen, relax, all right? Uh huh. Just enjoy yourself, all right? Let this, let this just be a nice <laughs> event in your life, all right? Uh, in your own time. Okay. Begin. Right, here we go. Okay. One, two, oh. two. Okay, that's good. Two, that's I'll get, hey, you said it, I'll get the ball. Practice run. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't want anything to be. You level. Back. You at least level with Stephen Grant. Yes. Right, I've got to okay. get three. Concentration here. Here we go. Hey, big big moment now. If you can do that again and then one more, <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> that's, that's literally right. what you're aiming here we for. go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Let's, do you want us to look away? Will that make it easier? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pressure. All right, come on. 
you look, we have old cheeks. It's really slippy on the. Oh, oh, two. two! Two is. Well, two is okay. <laughs> two is okay. Two is okay. Hey. Camera as well. Hey, sorry. It's all right. It's fine. It's camera fine. Have a little seat. Have a little seat. It means I don't have to move you, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I should because P does come before uh, C. And also, the, as well. Put me in the ball, mate. And also, as well, to be fair, Stephen got one and two. Paul got two twos. Yes, yeah. All right, hang on, let's do that now. Yeah. Let's do that now. We've got time, we've got time. <laughs> Stick that there. Stick that there. So Paul Perry scores two points! Yeah! Woo! Yes. Doing it Get for in. Dundee. United. How ironic. <laughs> United. Uh, how ironic that uh, second best uh, there with just two and Dundee United never going to achieve anything apart from maybe a second. Place. It's not, not going to happen, is it? I know, but same as Aston Villa. But uh, let's just very quickly before we go to the first break, and, uh, and I know this isn't the, the comedic sort of thing we usually do, but it's, it's ruined Scottish football, isn't it? It's ru yeah. It really is ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they take the best players and stick them on the bench. If they're playing against them, like a good Willie or whoever's um, playing well, they'll just take them away, never play them, stick them on the bench, and that means they won't score against them. So they, and then the players just... Sucks never really play, and it just sucks the. Just sucks, sucks, sucks basically. The, sucks the fun out of everything. Yeah, exactly. we clearly demonstrated. Here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really upsetting moment for all of us. Uh, <laughs> anyway, as you all know, uh, Talking Balls becomes something, something very similar in a way to uh, a panel show, which will happen after this short break. We'll be back with Jim Smallman, Neil Cole, Paul Perry, and myself after these messages. <laughs> I'm Chris Cohen, and today is Tuesday. Uh, unless, <laughs> of course, you're watching a repeat, uh, in which case it's another day. Jim joins me, Neil joins me, as does Paul Perry. Round of applause for you guys. Woo! Nice pen tricks, by the way. Good. Thanks. I'm, I'm usually much better at that. You know, I watch a, a lot. I watch The Daily Show a lot with Jon Stewart, mm -hmm. and he effortlessly doesn't even look. He's like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome to you the did show. It. I did it. I did it. <laughs> uh, anyway, right. Let's try and make this uh, into some sort of a, uh, a game show. Would you like a pink whistle, a black whistle, or a horn? Um, can I have um, a black whistle, please? A black whistle you may yeah. have. There we go. I shall toss this forth. Good, good hands. Hey. Uh, pink whistle, Neil, or... Can I have a horn? Yes, of course. You I very just wanted to get say that. <laughs> Oh, hey. Hey. Thank hey. you. Now, before we uh, crack on, we're going to do your missing tweets around very shortly. But uh, last week you were talking about uh, uh, an occasion at Notts County. Yes, uh, Notts County <coughs> fans paid £125 each to play against the Notts County first team. I have no idea why they chose to do this. I don't know how hard up Notts County are <laughs> <laughs> to decide that this is an option. Um, but they played each other and eventually... The Notts County fans did manage to get a goal. It was 9-1. Right. Um, but Martin Allen changed the rules a little bit to help them out towards let's have the end a, of the game. Let's have a little look at what happened. So Here you they see, are then. Uh, right, so this is, yeah. if, you've got a, if you're good at basic maths, you'll be aware there are slightly more white-shirted players there. It's genius. This <coughs> is one of my favourite bits. This is when one of the Notts County players just decides the to just beat as four if he can and they get really bored and just go, No! no. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, this, of course, is the goal. Look at this touch, by the way. It's a lovely touch. Oh. And also a great finish from this far out. Yeah, well, it's not. Slightly <laughs> aided by the fact there is no goal. <laughs> <there. Where's laughs> oh. was, it, was it Rush Goalie? <laughs> Martin Allen know. took off the goalkeeper and let them play 24 players. And they Good got celebration. one goal. Oh, little, Good hope celebration. the whole hundred fans on him. <laughs> I like that. bad pay Leon. That's very good. I just, um, what, what that demonstrates is, you know how like when you play football and, mm. and you're playing in the garden or at the park or whatever and you hit a decent strike, you're like, God, that's pretty, pretty mm. good. When you watch a fan who actually does that, like there, it still looks pathetic, doesn't it? That <laughs> shot, yeah. most people would have gone, oh, what's the point? Like, you know, <laughs> but he probably thought, come on. Yeah. Also, have, you ever, have you ever been on the pitch at Stamford Bridge? Yes. You've been a Chelsea fan. You ever, and have you ever scored a goal in one of the goals? Yes. Even if there was no one watching, if you just took a ball out. And just <laughs> uh, no, occasionally, when we were doing, I used to do like reports of them in the in the week on training or whatever. And occasionally, just before, yeah, or after we'd finished our link, I'd get a ball and just twat it in. But the trouble is, the <laughs> the nets were always up, and and they had those heaters on the pitch to get mm. the grass right, so yeah. it didn't really feel the same. You couldn't celebrate. See, I, I did it when we um, when we left Filbert Street. Mm. We had an auction, and you could go down and pretty much buy everything out of the ground. So I bought like the, the sign. Oh, yeah, you've got really cool I bought thing, the, 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 the sign of the map of Filbert Street. Me and my dad have got the two signs. <laughs> and uh, how much did you pay for those? Uh, Three hundred and fifty quid. See, that's brilliant. I think that's quality. quality. Mm. We've got like the seats we sat on at Filbert Street when oh. we had season tickets. So oh, you I, didn't I pay for those. You just took those. <laughs> <laughs> I've already paid for these. <laughs> when, we, when we went to the um, the auction, I just took. A, there was loads of footballs just lying around, so people were just knocking balls in in front of the cop. 
and it was amazing. But it took me three attempts to actually put the ball in the net with no <laughs> goalkeeper there. <laughs> <laughs> Upsetting. You played at uh, Dundee United's ground? No. no What's Dundee no. United's ground called? Okay. Uh, the, the Dundee Dundee Dundee, <laughs> the Talladice. Yeah, well, done. Yeah, well done. done. yeah. Did you have someone tell you that in the air? No. You know what? And everything. Uh, right, let's try and make this into a semblance of a quiz show by playing our missing words round. We have a look at some tweets that footballers have been tweeting uh, throughout the week, and all our guests have to do is fill in the blanks. The first one to have a look at is, of course, our friend Joseph Barton. Uh, Joey Seven Barton, he says, Back from what? I must say, I rather enjoyed it. Maybe a bit too much. Jim. Little. <laughs> just, he's, he's just he spaced it out. He is, but well, you'd have to be spaced out. There's little. Oh, here we go. Paul Perry. The dead. <laughs> Back from the dead. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Neil. Um, the Holocaust exhibition at the Imperial War Museum. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, wow. And I don't like Jerry really well. Barton. Really. Uh, it's not that, but I actually think I know. Oh, go on. Go on, Paul. The future four. Back <laughs> from the future four. <laughs> I must say, I'm not saying I'm Barney! Um, or Barney, as, they, as Doc would probably say. Barney! Would that, is that fine? Yeah. <laughs> Good, accepted. Uh, uh, now, I actually Overall. think I know this. I actually think I know uh, this. I think he uh, recently enforced a, a, a Twitter break. So I think he's, he's saying back from a Twitter break, self-enforced or self-imposed or something. Uh, let's see if I've ruined it. If I can hear it right. Back from my self-imposed tweet mm. every week. I must say I enjoy it. Round of applause to Chris. The points go this way. <laughs> For the first time in the history of Talking Boys. Um, that's good. Go on, yeah, Mark. I mean, because we all missed him, didn't we? Hey, come on. We do miss Joe Barton when he's not on Twitter. Do you think there is an element of Joe... I like Joe Barton. But sure. do you think there's an element of Joey Barton... Like he goes out and he's week off for tweeting, and <laughs> he just goes out and buys a load of you know idiots guys to philosophy and stuff like that. <laughs> Reads up on them so he can quote them loads the next week that he's got back on. Probably there is part of it. Uh, it could well happen. Let's have a look at Robbie Savage. Uh, he tweeted saying, "Oh, this is quite a lengthy tweet. Mm. Uh, I'm doing my what and what. So it's shirt getting ripped open and hip thrusting on what? <laughs> Go on. I'm doing my tax." <laughs> and and self-assessment. So it's shirt getting ripped open and hip thrusting on Moira Stewart's webpage. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Oh, Neil. Um, I'm doing my back sack and crack. Uh, so it's shirt getting ripped open and hip thrusting on ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, wife and sister. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, uh, wow, <laughs> just incredible, incredible scene. Um, it's not, it's not that, it's close. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Shake and vac. Shake and vac, GCCs and A-levels. Fruit, um, Fruit and Fibble. Fruit and Fibble. Fruit and Fibble. Arts and crafts. <laughs> I don't know, let's have a look at the real answer. I'm doing my salsa and paso. So it's shirt getting ripped open and hip thrusting on Craig's desk. Uh, I I don't know if that's any more sensical than what we actually came up with, mm. but that's Robbie Savage. You what is a, that? Paso or Paso Doble? I'm, I'm, I want to know. Uh, is it abbreviated just a single Paso? Oh, okay, single, single Paso. Okay, uh, paso Doble. I, what is the difference between a Paso and a Paso Doble? It's a single double. It's like espressos. <laughs> <laughs> is it dancing? Though? Dancing explained. <laughs> dancing. It's like coffee. Next, uh, let's have a look at the next tweet. Uh, the last tweet is of course Michael Vaughan. Uh, Vaughan Cricket. He says, "Can someone please explain to me why dogs what dogs don't?" Just saying. Go on, Jim. Care. <laughs> why dogs care, dogs don't. It doesn't even grammatically that makes any sense. But, uh, um, is, Neil? Um, can play better cricket than the England cricket team. <laughs> uh, why, why this dogs don't bit at the end sort of ruins it for mm. me. Uh, can someone explain to me why uh, dogs suddenly appear every time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they yeah, yeah, yeah. long to be. Dogs don't. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Is Go it on. just simply do? <laughs> dogs do, dogs don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's strong. It's strong. Neil, any more? Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking that um, why dogs can only hear things that are in a really high pitched noise, and then the dogs don't is in a really high pitched noise. Dogs don't! <laughs> it could he's, well he's be. He's proving his uh, point. Yeah, well, let's have a look. Michael Vaughan says. Can someone explain to me why dogs live off eating the same stuff every day? We're told to have a balanced diet. Ugh. Dogs don't. There's a lot of Ugh. things that offend me about this. Oh, God. Look, yeah. at, look at that. Dogs live off eating the same stuff every day. Full stop, exclamation mark, question mark. That's Ugh. disgraceful. That punctuation is a poor. Get lost, Vaughan. Yeah. Get yeah. lost, yeah. lots of grammatical nonsense. And four, uh, four exclamation marks. I do, and I no do space. what, though? I do, I have to just agree that I, I do agree with him because I have a small <laughs> dog who's eaten the same, like, Eucanuba food or whatever, dried food for his entire life. Other well, dog foods are available. And I, yeah, yeah, other dog foods are available. But I do <laughs> give him, like, obviously, treats here and there. But I do just think 
like, God, am I really mean that he's just having the same? Like, imagine if you just left all the same food. Is it a different thing? Do they? I don't know. I, do. I think they I just do put all of the. Food. I just think they put all of the uh, nutrients that they need in the, uh, but the in taste, that one food. The taste. It's the taste the same. It's like you living off piri. Piri all the time. <laughs> and I just made a little piri I mean, you like that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm, really sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to give the points at the end of that round to the West Ham scarf, unless there's any, uh, any objections. No. Nope. Good. Well done. Well done scarf. to the, very generic scarf. Well done to the West Ham scarf. We are, uh, we're also going to play our, uh, my favourite round coming up before mm -hmm. I do that. Uh, it's our through the webcam. Basically, what happens is a Skyper joins us on the Skype wall, tells me, but not the guests, who he supports, then they have to guess which team it is. Uh, unfortunately, that never happens. Jim guesses it straight away, ruins the round, and we have to go to a break early. So that's what's going to happen this week, I would imagine. Now, let's go up to the Skype wall, and joining us is Darren. Darren, how are you, mate? How are we doing? You all right? We're very well, thank you. Very well. Now, what I'm going to do is ask our three guests to look away from the screen and cover their ears. If you could write down on a bit of paper who you support and hold it up to the webcam, that would be tremendous, so our viewers at home can see. Here it is. Is... Okay, right, yep, you can hide that away now. Okay, guys, right, back in the game. Here we go. Darren is now going to show you the first clue as to which team he supports. Darren, when you're ready, mate. Have we lost him? We may have lost him, which would be great. Is it a Wouldn't team of mimes? Uh, street, street, a team of mimes. Internet street connection problem. And we've lost him! Yeah. <laughs> Look at the I think he's always going to see Newcastle anyway because of his accent. Excellent. <laughs> it was definitely a everybody, <laughs> everybody thought Newcastle the minute he spoke anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, you know, as a giveaway. What team he's going to support, you yeah. know? <laughs> Have you ever been to a Nando's before? <laughs> <laughs> he might as well just had his top off. You know? Oh, hello. It's a kind of show. <laughs> Professional! <Career. laughs> just co certain career choices I've made. <laughs> uh, and then at the moment I just think, oh, you know. Uh. Uh, well, there you go. That was it. That was through the webcam. Well, of course, Darren, who supports Newcastle United. Well done to uh, Paul, who, who said it first. He wanted to read it off the screen. Uh, uh, he's nearer. And the images reached his retina <laughs> before they reached uh, Jim and Neil. So that's great. All the points go to Paul. Well done. <laughs> yes, I'm on fan. fire. I'm assuming his clues were like, you play like <laughs> just round the corner. And <laughs> <laughs> hey. Darren, Darren, here we go. Let's see your clues. We've, we've guessed who it is, but what's your first clue? Darren, can you hear us? I can. It's a bad line. Sorry, you're going off. Okay. Are you there? What's your first clue? First clue, my club was formed in 1892. Play along with it. Uh, is it Huddersfield Town? No. Oh. Is it uh, Middlesbrough? Oh, is it? Oh, this is excellent. Okay, what's, oh, go on, Paul. Sunderland. No. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay, excellent. I, I do like Sunderland as a team. I think they're a brilliant team. <laughs> uh, not just now, Jim. Okay, Darren, second clue. Okay. The player who holds the most appearances with this club is Jimmy Lawrence. With 496. Ah, go on. Any ideas? That's a giveaway, isn't it? Not, not you yet, Jim. Uh, Neil or Paul, any ideas? Is it... Bolton. No. It's not Bolton. Is it Sunderland? <laughs> you must that already. <laughs> you must that. Oh, it's definitely not Sunderland. Sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, let's have the third clue. Not now, Jim. Third clue. Third clue. We don't now, but we used to play in red and white stripes. Interesting. Okay. Is it, is it, Neil, any ideas? Is it Sunderland? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Sunderland, but they are a tremendous team. Uh, one of the best I teams love in, them. in the They're North England, I would have said. Uh, any final clues? <laughs> I'm going to, go on. Dead easy. If you don't get this, you're all numpty. Okay, go on. <laughs> Our club nickname is a type of bird. <laughs> go on, Jim. Notts County. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, is, it is of Christmas course. Palace? It is, of course, say it, Paul. Um, Newcastle. It is Newcastle. Yes! yes! Darren, I have to be honest, when you disconnected, we saw that you're a Newcastle fan. <laughs> and I've simply been mocking you with the Sunderland jibes <laughs> since then. Listen, Darren, you're at work, aren't you? It was Sunderland. It was Sunderland. <laughs> Are you at work? I am at work, yes. What, what, do, you do, what do you do for a living, mate? Uh, I'm a porn star. <laughs> Great. Well, listen, hey, um, there's nowhere to go with that. There's nowhere to go with that. And um, best of luck. We're all thrilled for you. That's, uh, that's excellent. A, a Geordie porn star. Welcome to Talking Balls. Come, uh, <laughs> come again. Come again. Yeah. What would Geordie anyway. porn films be cool? What, what else can you use? I don't know. They'd certainly use YI Jelly. Yay! <laughs> ah, 
Yeah. I'm on that. Uh, bombshell. Uh, we're going to go to a break. We'll be back with uh, my big impression and uh, other bits, chants and stuff. Join us in a bit. Hello and welcome back to Talking Balls. I'm Chris Cohen and joining me this week are Jim Smallman, Neil Cole and Paul Pirri. We'll applaud ourselves. Ooh. What are you doing that? What was that? It was it a, a smile thing. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Good. I liked it. I liked yeah. it. It's good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, well, you let yourself down. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, now, uh, before we move on to round three, uh, interestingly enough, I don't, I don't even know how to introduce this. I'll just say the words Leon Best and uh, just <laughs> weirdness. Look at this. So this is, well, that's Leon Best, and this woman on YouTube it's a pretty decided lady. to make herself look exactly <coughs> like Leon Best. It's not <laughs> clear yet as to why, or, mm. you know, I, look, the, oh my mm. word, it, the trans, well, I don't know what she's done there, but that's worked straight away. De okay, mascara, I'm assuming. Do we know the names for any of the other things they're using? Surely you should know all these, because you're buying presents for girls all the time. I right? do, I, uh, oh, actually, do you know what, that's, Getting close to to Leon, but why would anyone do this or realise that they could? Do you or think it, film themselves? Do you think it? it's unrewind and it's actually him dressed up as a lady? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, they've just done it the other way around. There he is. So just a reminder there. Well, I guess we're halfway through the procedure. Oh no, that's it. Oh, that's no, the cool. total transformation. That, that is the transformation to that's a. Weird. That Does she do any other footballers? I don't know. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. <laughs> a one. <laughs> I just can't face looking at it into her sight anymore to see if she does. But isn't that? Not Odd. How did you it's find that? Weird. I didn't find it. <laughs> the producers found it. They told me to play it, and I'm looking I for odd. presents for a girl. And we <laughs> yeah. this link. I was looking for best girl presents, and that came up. Hey. Best Lou, eh? Hey. 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 Google reference hey. jokes. I mean, anytime you want, guys. Anytime you want. Now, our next round is what happened next. All right. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I show you some clips. You have to tell me what happened next to them. <laughs> oh. Have a look at the first <laughs> one. <laughs> Here it is up on the wall. Uh, right, now, this is from, obviously, uh, an NFL game. Is the uh, game called the Insight Bowl? There we go. It, it's, that might be the arena. So there's, there he is, cheering on. Come on, guys, hey! Defense! Offense! Bring me, uh, bring me things! Did he successfully manage to back a massive truck <laughs> into a parking space? Back a bit, left hand down, left hand down. <laughs> There's a bald guy from Newcastle. Can you blow that whistle with a bit more conviction? Right. Oh, am I not blowing this? really want it. Do it. <laughs> Better. Okay, now tell Good. me. There's a bald guy from Newcastle head just appeared <laughs> and then <laughs> shot there. He goes, my team was formed in 1972. <laughs> no, uh, it's very close. Go on, Jim. Mario Balotelli runs him over. <laughs> just decides <laughs> to park. Uh, it's none of those things. Let's have a look at what happened at the Insight Bowl uh, as we play it on. Here he is, the coach there. Now he's looking like he's not sure what's happening. And all of a sudden, from camera right, whee, it's the speedy cam on a line that we have at Wembley and other arenas. Oh, it's the spider Ooh, cam. Drops <laughs> down <laughs> and, uh, and nearly kills uh, three or four very expensive players. There it is again. Oh. Whee. Spider I cam. Love how, it doesn't matter how hard you look with all that equipment on. That number 11, proper, oh. yeah. proper panicked. <laughs> As did number, and number seven. seven doesn't even get touched. He looks like a footballer being tackled. I know. He just does the ow. Oh, but then again, I wonder whether the, maybe the line, maybe the spider line yeah. caught him. I, mean, I, don't know. I remember I was, yes, yes. Spider I was way, in right? the um, I was in the uh, Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing for Race of Champions, and they always have the uh, the freestyle motocross riders, uh, the, the the Red Bull yeah. uh, X fighters doing a, a display, and one of them genuinely nearly got decapitated because they were doing a rehearsal and the. Um, the, the organizers, there was a lot of breakdown in communication because there was a lot of Chinese uh, staff working and a lot of English speaking staff. And it wasn't always the best communication. And as they were rehearsing, they like double backflips in the stadium. Uh, they dropped the spider cam to do some maintenance on it. And this guy comes hammering in from the tunnel uh, on full whack and gets like, a, like in a war film, kind of pulled back off his bike by the taut spider cam oh, wire. Fun story. Fun but story. But the, 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 those things are dangerous. That is frightening. Yeah. And, you know, maybe not. Maybe not a poke for the show. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was okay. All right, he's okay. Yay. Yay. All right, then. No, I'm just spider cam. Spider, spider, spider cam. Spider cam. <laughs> spider cam. <laughs> 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 oh, if wow. you, but if you were on that field, the inside ball, wouldn't you for half a second have thought this is some kind of ghostly American football player has swooped I down? Because it looks I like a helmet and, a, and shoulder pads. Yeah. Even I watched that bit. twice, mm. I would have. I, I would have thought. I would have thought the Russians were coming. 
<laughs> the Russians are coming. Is that, is, is that a general reaction that's to the name of what, That's the name of one of Darren's films. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look at clip two. What do you think happened next here? Uh, up on the wall. Uh, now, obviously, it's uh, a football match of sorts. Uh, and someone sorts because Chelsea weren't involved. So, someone's yeah. filmed this off their off the telly, haven't they? This is a yeah, yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah. If we, no, I mean, but the like, so they've the, filmed there. Yep. So, what do you think happened next in the match rather than in the person's lounge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because well, it could have been the channel yeah. changed yeah. or yeah. something. The channel changed, <laughs> yeah. and, and then there's... everyone had chicken Kievs. <laughs> 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 it's not that. It's not what we're looking for in the match in particular. Any ideas as to what uh, we think? Happened? Does American footballer run on saying, "Watch out for spider cams"? Uh, no, he's, he's got the attention of several uh, defenders there. What if, what if both of those defenders run into each other and then tumble into the outfield, into the athletics track? It's not a bad shout. It's really? not right. Um, the the winger who's running down the wing to bamboozle the defenders removes his false leg and then chips the ball in <laughs> with, <laughs> a, with a, with a five iron. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that either. But I'll give you a clue before we run it on. Right. It's something that David Dunn would be extremely proud of. <laughs> He puts on 20 stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, think about what David Dunn does better than any other player in the Premier League. He holds the record for the most amount of what in the Premier League? Is it substitute? Person? No, it's own goal. <gasps> Have a little look Damn at it, this have... gem of an own goal. It's probably the best own goal you'll ever see. Uh, she raised it on here. Cross comes in. <gasps> Boom! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> He, would still, he should <laughs> celebrate. He should still celebrate. You're right. He should still celebrate. Kick. Yeah, it's like the scorpion kick. Yeah. Yeah. The scorpion yeah. kick. And uh, he should have celebrated. You're yeah. entirely right. Well, it's like, you know the, the, the goals that were nominated for the, the best goal of the year, not this year, not 2011, the, the 2010 ones, and there was a guy who played for Glen Torren yeah. in Ireland who, who just hit the flukiest looking shot ever. That was a better goal than that. Yeah. That's which, amazing. Which I think he should definitely celebrate because he can send it to other agents. Because I think it was generally meant to be a score. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, score. Right, now, that is the end of round three, which is, of course, what happened next. I'm now picking this up. It's my clipboard. Uh, and I can tell you the points went to Spidercam. Well done, Spidercam. <laughs> well Spider uh, thanks for playing. Round four is Spider Chance will be a fine thing. Chance will be a fine thing. We don't have uh, graphics for this because uh, and he just came up with it minutes before we chance. went to air. Mm. Chance will uh -huh. be uh, a fine okay. thing. Good. What mm. do you think it's about? Mm. It's about, obviously, football songs. Yes. He doesn't get a point for that, does he? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, he does. Two points. Uh, now, I'm going to give you the first part, boys, of, yeah. uh, of a chant. You have to buzz in and finish the chant for us, okay? You have to tell us what the next is, okay? okay? Are you ready? It's against the clock. That's have 30 seconds on the clock that's not going to appear on the screen. There it is. Uh, <laughs> and here we go. He's big. He's red. Legally, he should be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, he should be dead. It's not right. Any other goes? He's got a massive head. <laughs> He's got a massive head. Who would that be? <laughs> Adventures. Which player? I don't know. Ronald McDonald, the burger guy. <laughs> 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 Hamburger. He lives in a shed. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not. It is, of course. He's big. He's red. He's Peter Cat. The bed. He's Peter Crouch. He's Peter ah, Crouch. of course. Uh, yeah, second yeah. one. He's big. He's fast. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Steady. <laughs> Any ideas? Um, he once had his leg in a cast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true of many footballers. <laughs> Relevant but not right. No. <laughs> He's sponsored by a Lastoplast. <laughs> <laughs> He's sponsored by a Lastoplast. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Mm. No. Uh, no idea. It no. is. He's big, he's fast, his first name should come last. Stern John. Oh, <laughs> we signed that. We signed that. For <laughs> your own chance. Real blow. Chance. Real blow didn't get that. Next one. Whoa! I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. I'm an Englishman <laughs> in New York. No. Any other guesses? Uh, oh! Something uh, so is on fire. It's like the Kings of Leon song. Any ideas? Man it's overboard. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's Whoa, Tamori gets by. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, what a great chant. Okay, next one. Sunday, Monday. Just the silence is what I love. <laughs> Go on. I just want to say happy days. Yeah. <laughs> it's not happy days, but it's very close. It's Sunday, Monday, happy bay. Happy <laughs> happy <laughs> bay. Uh, excellent. Uh, this one. Nanny, are you? Okay, are you okay, Nanny? <laughs> it is, I like that one. Manchester United fans. Nanny, are you okay every time he goes down? Great, uh, this one. When the ball hits your head. Uh, like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Oh, I see what you've done there, but incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best of chance. When the ball hits your head, like a big pizza pie, that's amore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give us a wave, Alan. Alan, give us a wave. No, not that. Any other ideas? 
<laughs> is, of course, when the ball hits your head and you're sat in row Z. That's Zamora. Uh, yeah. Next one. He's blonde. He's quick. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the things that make you laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say them out loud. <laughs> this we show becomes so much better. Uh, uh, the family show. He's right, blonde. He's quick. quick. Um. I'm going to have to rush you. No hoons. It is. He's blonde. He's quick. His name's a porno flick. Manu Petit, Manu Petit. <laughs> uh, finally, we've got De Canio. So it's obviously West Ham fans. So we're looking forward to him sitting on the bench quite a lot and not necessarily being fit and being a bit moody. <laughs> Close, literal, but not right. Go on. Tied up in our shed. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes on for yeah, listed demands and, yeah. and deadlines. Yeah, okay. No, it's not that. It's not a, a ransom chant. It's, we've got De Canio, you've got our stereos. That's West Ham fans, <laughs> <and> Liverpool fans. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, which is good. We've got time for one more. This is my favourite chant I think I ever saw, and I burst out laughing when I read it. His name is Rio. What? And he doesn't bother turning up for drug tests. <laughs> 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 yeah, we every week, every week, on running game. And uh, he dances yeah. in the sand. No, it's Where's close. It's, it's really, really close. Any ideas? Oh, I can't. Th and he kicks it at the stand. Oh, it's so close. His name is Rio and he watches from the stand, <laughs> which is brilliant. It's the best I've ever heard. <laughs> at the end of that <laughs> round, I can tell you Jim has two points. Neil has four points. Paul has 18 points, but still in the lead is Spider Cam with 118 <laughs> points. Oh. Uh, so everything's still to play for in part three slash four. Part four. Part three. Four. I don't know where we are. Uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, join us after this break <laughs> for another part. Perry! Woo! Uh, guys, have you got a favourite football chant? Is there one that you're particularly passionate about? Yes, at Go the on. moment with City having Kasper Schmeichel in goal. Mm. Uh, it's all one where we go, Kasper, whoa, he's named after a ghost, he plays between the posts. <laughs> yeah, that is good, I like that one. Any others? You, no. I, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, shed, shed room. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the, what is the main chant at Dundee United? Just, I don't know. You are such I a know, fake I'm useless. Fan. I know. Fake, I'm not real anymore. Being a real Dundee United fan must be horrendous. Yeah, so it's horrible. I don't, I don't blame you. Well, yeah. Bristol City used to always sing uh, Red Red Robins go bob bob bobbing along, but they don't really do that very much I, anymore. Do you know what? That dislikes me. I, I really, that dislikes me. <laughs> <laughs> that dislikes, <laughs> dislikes me. Dislikes me. Um, no, I really, the whole Charlton thing, which is why I, I know they're doing very well now in that mm. league, but you know when you're coming out to a song and you want like a real, come on, like yeah. a lot of people play the final countdown or mm. that, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, dun dun dun, dun the X Factor thing. Mm. Uh, they come out to when the red, red round goes bump, bump. No, they, They're the least intimidating song you could play. They do also have Into the Valley by The Cult playing before, which is a fantastic song. Is fantastic Why don't they song. just switch those two then? Why don't they just play that when the teams come out? Instead of well, the well, you could be, well, Leicester come out to the, the post horn gallop, which they play at Fox Hunting. Now, Fox Hunting is both illegal and we're called the Foxes. So essentially what it's saying is, <laughs> the away team, you can now hunt us down. Yeah. That is what that's saying. Mm. Excellent. It's like self-harming. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a musical <laughs> intro <laughs> equivalent of self-harm. The, the best one I ever saw was uh, I went to watch a game in, uh, I saw River Plate playing Independiente in the River Plate Stadium. M incredible yeah, yeah. experience. Uh, and the uh, away fans covered like two thirds of the one end with their flag. And you kind of go, that's the biggest flag I've ever seen. But then the home fans started chanting, and I don't know what it is in Spanish annoyingly, but I had to ask my uh, South American, my Argentine friend, what they were chanting. And they were chanting, put your handkerchief away. Because then the other side, <coughs> like, covered the entire end and just on the two sides. Put your handkerchief This is the biggest flag I'd ever seen, and they had a flag three times the size, and they were oh. chanting, put your handkerchief away, which I thought was brilliant. It's that is good. A cloth-related cloth chant. Yeah, there's not enough Only those South Americans, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, uh, listen, before we crack on with the rest of the round, this is something we noticed from the weekend's action. Now, you've all heard of uh, Squeaky Bum Time. Mm -hmm. Have a little look at this. It's made me laugh. Uh, this is from the Swansea Arsenal game. And uh, it's taken a corner at one point. Uh, and this is, uh, there we go, up there. Ah. Ah. What I like is you can see the steward who's, who's obviously making his way there, friends there, confused as to what's happening. But that's good, isn't it? If you ever <laughs> want to get on. All I want to say is, is if my dad was looking at this now, my dad would be just going, well, the kids are wearing their jeans lower all the time. <laughs> now, <aren't they?" laughs> it is good, though. I liked it, enjoyed it. And what a great match that was. Wasn't it funny what to I watch? Like, <laughs> what I like, though, as well, is that he's, he's done, had the intended effect because he's really caught that girl's eye. That quite fit girl behind the, um, the, the corner flag. She's yeah. going, quite whoa, fit I fancy girl. him. 
I fancy him now. He's doing some kind of mating ritual, some kind of South Wales mating ritual. <laughs> is, that his, is that his program? That he, it is his program that he's tucked in. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. I mean, you know, foresight to put the program into the pocket as well. Really good stuff. Yeah, you've got to be careful when you're pulling them back up, though. Yeah, well, that would um, paper cut. Program, yeah, would program Lodge. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Program <laughs> Lodge. Uh, right, now, the final round, or one, penultimate maybe, because I don't know whether the last thing counts in the round or not. I, you know, I should know, being that I host a show. Uh, but is uh, Chris's <laughs> big impression. Now, as you know, guys, uh, Mark Schwartz at the moment is not playing uh, regularly for Fulham. David Stockdale is deputising for him because of an injury. Uh, so I had the idea. He's also coming. <laughs> this is such a terrible one this week. <laughs> I had the idea that uh, he's coming to the end of his career, so he's going to try and get a TV deal. Uh, he's got some ideas, Mark Schwartz, the Australian uh, international goalkeeper, <laughs> for um, some TV shows. So what I thought I'd do is find up Endemol, and I'm going to try and pitch to Endemol as Mark Schwartz uh, the new TV show idea. And all you guys have to do is, uh, before the call is made, decide whether or not Mark Schwartz gets his TV <laughs> deal. So, Jim, do you think he'll get a series? No. No? <laughs> Neil? If it's, if it's Endemol and it's in any way reality related, I think you'll get a meeting. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and for, I'm going to go yes. <laughs> You can say yes. Yes. All right, so uh, a, a no, yes. a meeting, and a yes. yes. Okay, let's ring in the mole as Mark Schwartz said. Right, no laughing. It won't be funny. <laughs> Hello, Endemol. Oh, hi there. Hello. Um, my name's Mark Schwartz. I'm the, currently the goalkeeper for Premier League side Fulham. Do you know the uh, Premier League side Fulham? Okay. Um, and basically, what's happening, right, uh, I, I'm at the moment not playing a great deal of football and I've come up with a lot of sort of media ideas, a lot of very exciting media ideas, and I've got like an idea for a show I wanted to run past you. Have you got like literally just 30 seconds to hear me out? Unfortunately, it's just that Endemol don't personally take ideas from outside, but uh, you just need to approach the production company for legal reasons. Understood. So. What, what was your name, sorry? Uh, it doesn't matter, really. I mean, I'm on the switchboard, but I'm just, I'm telling oh. you company policy. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Well, listen, listen, wait. I, I understand what you're saying. I fully appreciate it, but let me run it past you, right? It's called Schwartz the Matter with You, right? <laughs> and what it is, is a bloke comes up, right, on the penalty spot. So it's like what I do anyway in goal, right? So they come up, right, and, and they come up with a problem. They're not, they're not striking the ball. They've got a problem. They say like, oh, right. I go, right, what's Schwartz the Matter with You then? And he says, oh, I've got kidney stones. And I'm like, no problem. Drink some pomegranate juice. <laughs> Boom. And that counts as a save because I've given him the right information. So he goes off happy, right? Next guy comes up. Schwartz, the matter with you? He says, oh, I think I've got something wrong with my toe. I say, ah, oh, you probably want to put some waspies on it. That's wrong. So that's a goal for him. And, it, you know, he might get severe injuries, but at least, you know, it's like an educational and entertainment. And with my profile, I think that's going to be a winner. Okay, thank you anyway, but as I said, we don't take ideas here, so just approach other production companies like you're doing. All right, would you, would, but is that something you'd watch? Sh I, 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 it's a busy switchboard, sorry, so if you try another production company, thanks for your call though, okay? All right, All right bye. bye! See ya! <laughs> oh, there's Schwartz and Matter with you! <laughs> Schwartz and Matter with you! That's alright. Did, That's you, so best did, did you have any other formats for that name? Because I, I thought of one. <laughs> on. uh, you could have one where he has to make different kind, kinds of omelettes. Uh, Schwartz and Egger. Uh, <laughs> and Egger is <laughs> also strong. Uh, sadly, you do a Schwartz and Egger impression, by the way. I do do uh, <laughs> Why don't you do I it? I do a... Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 you gotta get out of here. Anyway, um, so the points obviously go to, to Jim in that round. Sorry. Woo. Thank Woo. you for the positivity. That's and I'm sure there'll be some, some comeback from Endemol shortly and we'll be shut down <laughs> imminently. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they can. They've got no money. So. Uh, anyway, that is, of course, uh, Chris's big impression. Uh, now, we've got also a, uh, a captain competition that you can play at home. Yeah, I'm thinking of you this week. Uh, at Sports Tonight TV is our Twitter account. You can put a hashtag of Talking Balls or you can Skype us the answer. Do people do that? <laughs> I've got the answer! <laughs> Not now! <laughs> Not now! We're in the middle of a show! But please! Can they uh, write us a letter? Uh, no, that, actually, yeah, probably. Uh, send it to Sports Night Live England. And this is the, uh, the prize. It is, of course, Jim Smallman's uh, DVD called Tattooligan. Yeah. Um, some of the reviews on the back here. Uh, an excellent watch. That was super drunk. Um, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> just below that, um, it, it cannot be used as a coaster and that's just a health <laughs> one. A wonderful oh no there are reviews there are actual reviews wonderfully gritty oh like a like a <laughs> snowball made by someone on a state uh the, like the best type of sandpaper <laughs> and this one just a very literal a talented comic yeah just, here's a talented that, that comic. was that was the exact quote time out 
Did, was no. there a lot of gump around the timeout quote? That that's the DVD itself, so when you go to put it in, you know you It does actually work. <laughs> you Unless you're one of the people who got a blank one, then uh, sorry. <laughs> did, you, did you make <laughs> no, one? Of, one, of, one of my old friends who I used to work with ordered a copy of it, and he got a copy, and, and it was a blank DVD. Oh. Dripping. Yeah. yeah. So, but we, you know, we said no refunds, so uh, <laughs> sorry. You got a DVD now? Uh, I want one of those, so can I enter the caption? No, no I mean, have you got your own one? No. Uh, cool. Several. They're not mine, but then. Stargate, you have yeah. the yeah. tower. Yeah. The DVD yeah. tower. Macgyver. Yeah. I realise you can buy the MacGyver box set now, do you know that? You can buy like every MacGyver And you have to put it together yourself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's, yeah. Very that's, strong. Strong. that's very strong. Anyway, listen, if you'd like to win uh, Jim Smallman's Tattooligan CD slash DVD, I meant to call it a DVD. Uh, I sounded older than that. If you'd like to win this VHS, <laughs> what you have to do is tweet it's in. Some Peter Max. Tweet in your favourite quote, uh, caption, if you will, to this picture. Now, here's the, uh, the picture we're going to be having a look at. Um, it is, of course, uh, Boris Johnson up there on a diving board, two, um, I guess, divers of the British team, and, um, <laughs> and uh, oh dear. I've just got an answer already. <laughs> go on. Uh, have you got any suggestions to get them started, get the ball rolling? Who said to Tom Daly, which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> which one do you want? Uh, excellent. Any other, any other thoughts? <laughs> sure that, that'll make it. Any other thoughts? I, I just like the idea that, I don't know, if it's the Olympic Stadium, I doubt there's water in the pool below. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, where's yeah. the water? Yeah. No, but you can see that the lighting is bouncing back up as water light bounces up off water. So there is water there. Oh. Has anybody seen my oh, bike? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, also, I also like the idea that they're about to throw a brick in for him and he has to go and retrieve it. <laughs> he's got um, his pyjamas on. Yeah. They are his actual pyjamas. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, genius. Well, listen, hey, none of those were any good. Uh, as, as, we, as we tell her, but you might have a better suggestion. So send them in at Sports Night TV, hashtag Talking Balls, get yourself uh, a DVD. I'll give you something as well. Not weird, you know, I'll give you like a, I don't know. I'm actually at the moment, because I'm moving house, I'm going through clearing out all my cupboards. I am clearing out all my cupboards. And so I'll give some someone junk. A, a, a DVD that I have lovingly crafted yeah. of my award winning. And I'm going to give some old pastoral rice, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not changing to the other side of the London. You could use the pastoral rice as packaging uh, to protect <laughs> that. Oh, yeah, that works. That I works for me. Um, <laughs> you you could just like go shopping with someone and they've got like a big important birthday. <laughs> that would be my <laughs> gift. <laughs> I give the best of ideas and I'll hate every minute of it. Uh, Jim Smallman, to Tudigan. That wasn't oh, supposed to be a, that was that was oh, oh, now. Oh, now. That was disregarding it. That was oh, that was the like cheap one of those, DVDs. That won't work <laughs> now. Yeah, that was one of those that was one of those TV throws. Like, hey, so I'm cool. Hey, let's move on to the next part. Look, Someone's I just think things at Chris. No, don't throw anything at me. Don't, don't throw at me. You look like Martin Keown um, when he had that ball kick to them last week. <laughs> uh, Paul. Yes. Right, listen. What's next for you? Um, I'm going to go home, have my tea. <laughs> 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 what, are you, what are you planning on eating? Um, food. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. The wife's cooking it. The wife's <laughs> cooking it. Uh, what's your wife's name? Uh, Kate. Kate. How long have you been together? Um, how long have you been together? <laughs> yeah. Um, we've been, we've been married, married for nearly two years. Two years married, and then before that? Um, we were together for about seven years. How did you propose? Um, I went, will you marry me? And she went, I, I will. Oh, okay. Was, but was it romantic? Sort of? no. um, to be honest, I'd, um, I'd left a ring and um, a wee note and a pot of tea in the teapot where all the tea bags are. And I said, meet me a cup of tea. And she opened up and there was a wee letter. Oh. In, oh. in, in the ring. I love so, that, that you managed to get a cup of tea out of it yeah. as well. <laughs> I love that, that's oh, such yeah. a Scottish way of doing <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Did she do? Did she read the note and go, I will? And you were like, <coughs> tea, please. Uh, one question at a time. Firstly, will you make me a cup of tea? That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the first question that he's answering. I like that, that's nice. Oh, that's cute, yeah. lovely. Yeah, how, did you, uh, how did you propose to your, your wife? Uh, she proposed to me. It was on, a, on one of those leap year days. Oh, when that's coming up. To do, oh, yeah. right. That's coming up the end of February this yeah. year. So, Chris, you might get lucky. That was oh. 94, I think. 94. How, 90, did she, how did she do it? Or was it just remember. a novelty of it being her proposal? She didn't really put any effort in. She, uh, sleep she, she, she got down on her knees. Well, she stayed on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Wow! Oh, 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 just, <laughs> just wow! <laughs> Oh, I mean, we're all too far. Um, um, and uh, because you're here and you're a football fan, you mm -hmm. follow the Premier League, obviously, I'm assuming as well. Yeah. Uh, this season, for you, where's it going? Um, uh, man, you're a Man City. <laughs> Great. What a bold <laughs> prediction that is. <laughs> one of the Manchester clubs. Well, it's got to be. We, yeah, yeah, but which one? I'm putting you on the line here. Uh, man City. Man City? Yeah. Okay. You just get annoyed when people don't say it's your team. No, I don't. I'm fine. I'm fine with Tottenham. <laughs> he is a six. I'm a Chelsea team. fan. I don't he loves Spurs. Spurs. Um, listen, guys, I think we should all finish with a song. 
um, <laughs> as we always do. Uh, <laughs> always, when I say always, we very rarely do. Once with Ollie Mercer. Oh, and with the uh, uh, athlete. Uh, yeah, Kerry Willis. Yeah. Kerry Willis, athlete. Yeah. Uh, so this is a song uh, <laughs> that I've written. Um, <laughs> right Where are the now. lyrics? Is the song called? Um, is the song called Filling? <laughs> <laughs> the song called. The song is called. You've got three minutes, Chris, <laughs> to, the end, <laughs> to the end of the part. Okay, and it goes like this. Television presenting can be hard. Especially when you've got three minutes till the end of the part. You'd have thought a producer would have done a little bit of research. <laughs> so that I won't end up on TV looking like a bird. <laughs> Three minutes <laughs> till the end of the part. <laughs> Until I end my career and have a broken heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching Talking Balls, where content. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Jim Smallman, Neil Cole, and uh, Paul Perry. It's a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much you. for all of you for coming down. We'll be back next week with Premier League goalie from Norwich City. <laughs> goalie, goalie. Uh, John Ruddy will be joining us next week uh, from the Norwich City Keepers. Had a very uh, excellent season, but hasn't kept a clean sheet. Something we'll be talking <laughs> and reminding him of uh, constantly throughout the show. Thank you very much for watching Sports Night TV. If you want to get hold of Jim's DVD, the caption will be up on there from our Twitter account as well. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.